Okay, 10 patchouli fragrances for life. We're going to talk about them coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. It's Sebastian. Yes, we're talking about my favorite note in fragrances. My favorite note for a long, long time, patchouli. And since the theme of 10 Fragrances for Life videos is very, very popular, we're going to go ahead and do that today with my favorite note, 10 Patchouli Fragrances for Life. Leave the rest behind. Get rid of the rest of the fragrances. And you, if you follow me, you know that I really enjoy this note. The reason why I love patchouli is because it's got a great long-lasting quality about it. When it's featured in fragrances as a base note or as the star note, you know the fragrances are going to last. They have a great sillage and trail projection and things like that with the feature of uh, patchouli. And I just love it because when I smell it off of other people and are off of me, I know that it's a really, really great fragrance that features this really amazing note of patchouli. Patchouli is from the mint family. It actually looks like mint, but we don't eat the patchouli. We use it in fragrances and it's been used quite a bit. And I absolutely, absolutely love it. If you're curious to learn more about patchouli, after you watch this video, you can just search patchouli on the channel and there should be a list of videos featuring patchouli. But let's get started with the 10 patchouli fragrances for life video. First, we're going to talk about a different kind of patchouli fragrance from the house of Parfums and Nikolai. It's patchouli intense, this one right here. So this one's been given the aromatic treatment. It's quite aromatic with loads of geranium and lavender against the patchouli. So we've got this earthy woody note of patchouli with the kind of fresh, spicy, herbal, aromatic qualities of the geranium and lavender, almost like a barbershop fragrance. But you've also added some warm spiciness of cinnamon in here, which contrasts really interestingly adds depth to the fragrance and warmth to the fragrance as well. In addition to those notes, there's a little bit of rose, some sandalwood and amber for a very unique take on patchouli. This is not the chocolate cakey kind of patchouli. It's more green, herbal, aromatic and spicy. Really great take on patchouli. I think Parfums de Nicolai, Patricia Nicolai has done a great job with patchouli intense. And if you're looking for something that doesn't have that chocolate cakey quality when it comes to patchouli, definitely try Parfums and Nicolai Patchouli Intense. And keeping the tradition of kind of green aromatic and herbal, we're going with the House of Montal. It's Vetiver Patchouli. Once again, not chocolate cakey because those are the types of patchouli fragrances that I really, really enjoy. But we're starting off with some different kinds of patchouli fragrances. And here we have this nice balance of patchouli and vetiver together. Two very earthy, woody ingredients or notes in fragrances. Patchouli I enjoy more than vetiver, but still I enjoy vetiver as well. And when you combine the two together, you get this overdose of earthy woodiness. Some dampness from the vetiver, some grassiness from the vetiver, but that patchouli adds that sparkling effect. The fragrance uh, note that also creates the great trail, the sillage and the projection when you start wearing it. And with Montal, you've got this really interesting characteristic powdery take on a patchouli fragrance with spices and musky notes and things like that. There's some citruses in here as well to freshen things up, but it's not like, again, it's not one of those uh, chocolate cakey takes on patchouli. It's a bit more on the green side, powdery side, irisy kind of side, because it does feature carrot as well. In addition, to that. There's a bit of floral touch with the jasmine note, but it's a really, really great fragrance. Montal has another fragrance called Patchouli Leaves, but it reminds me of other fragrances in this list, and I was trying to balance it out with the different styles of patchouli, especially since I'm going to get rid of everything else. Not really, but if I get rid of everything else, I want to have patchouli fragrances that are all d the different kinds of styles of patchouli fragrances I can get. So this is Montal's Vetiver Patchouli. Really great take on a patchouli fragrance. If you're looking for something similar, you might go with something like uh, Louis Vuitton's Orage. It's a little bit similar. But moving on to the house of Tiziana Terenzi, it's Ursa. This is a great love of mine, absolutely love it. First discovered through by Killian with Straight to Heaven, but I always felt like that fragrance didn't have the oomph that I wanted, and I get that here with Ursa. Although some of you are saying it's been reformulated, the bottle that I have is very similar to what I've been experiencing it from early on. And also, it's a little different than the Killian. It's in the end very similar, but this has the addition of some 
more ferocious kind of animalic take on leather. There's a lot of leather here. Along with the patchouli, there's the rum. It's boozy. There's dried fruit, so it's a bit fruity, but not fresh fruity. Definitely the dried fruity, more like a warmth kind of a thing with a, a little bit of a holiday kind of a fruitiness. But there's tobacco here, oud, incense, nutmeg, and vetiver, and a little vanilla to sweeten things up. It's a really, really great take on a patchouli fragrance. Once again, not chocolate cakey, which we're, we're going to get to, but definitely kind of a fruity, boozy take on a very sexy patchouli with the addition of a slight animalic, um, uh, you know, uh, leather note in here. So this is Ursa from the house of Tiziana Terenzi. Do let me know if you're a fan of these three fragrances so far. Next, going to the house of Nuit Nomad, one of my favorite French houses as of late. This is Click Song, this one right here. Click Song is a kind of a rose patchouli. In the end, the patchouli in this is definitely very much like a chocolate cakey patchouli, but you've got the addition of the rose and also geranium to kind of boost up the kind of herbal touches of the rose because you can get some rosy qualities from the geranium in here, uh, in, in, in traditionally in fragrances. So we've got the aromatic herbal touches of the geranium, the roses in here, it gives you that kind of very delicious kind of jammy, juicy uh, take on rose against the very, very earthy, almost chocolate cakey patchouli in here. Then they've also thrown in amber, vanilla, and labdanum, which kind of intensifies the whole chocolate cakey effect with the rose and of course the geranium that's in here. It's a really, really great fragrance, really love it. Probably a second favorite of mine from this house, Anui Nomad's Click Song. Is amazing. If you haven't tried it, uh, definitely try it. It's a different take on patchouli once again, but uh, it's kind of getting close to something like psychedelic, which you'll hear about in a little bit. But this is Click Song from the house of Anui Nomad. Next up, going to the house of Boys 1920, it's real patchouli, this one right here. For the longest time, I hadn't uh, gotten this uh, fragrance in my, or added this fragrance in my collection, but Everybody, or not everybody, but a lot of people consider this the holy grail of patchouli fragrances. And I can see why. This is a really, really great take on patchouli. And it's that kind of uh, patchouli that I like, the chocolate cakiness. I personally consider the holy grail of patchouli fragrances Psychedelic from Javoy, which you'll hear about in a little bit. But Boys 1920 is also really, really great. It's patchouli with amber. There's some tobacco here. There's vanilla, sandalwood, thyme, musk, and cedar. In the the end it's what's creating the chocolate cakey effect is the amber against the patchouli along with the vanilla sometimes you'll see them fragrances and they're also adding like balsamic notes like tolu or peru balsam or benzoin and things like that it just intensifies the chocolate cakey effect it's not smelling gourmand it's not smelling like real chocolate but it gives you the kind of a chocolate cakey effect when you take the that very earthy woody patchouli note and combine it with balsams resins and vanillic notes and amber and things like that. This one does have tobacco, so it's a bit ashy, but some aromatics, musk, some woody notes as well. It's a really, really great fragrance. One of the best from this house and definitely one of the best patchouli fragrances out there in the world and definitely deserves to be here on my list. It's Boys 1920's Real Patchouli. Let me know if you're a fan of that one. I know there's a lot of fans out there and uh, it's definitely a really solid patchouli fragrance. Next up, going to another kind of greenish patchouli fragrance. This is Diptyque's Tempo, and I can see that there might be some overlap between Vetiver Patchouli from Montal and Tempo. They are different in the end. Here, they're mixing the patchouli with Mate, and the Mate has a grassiness to begin with. It's a tea kind of note, and then also Vetiver does have that as well. Vetiver and Mate are different here. We're getting more of a green, grassy effect along with Clary sage, pink pepper, violet leaf, and bergamot. In the end, you're not really experiencing that kind of chocolate cakey effect that ambers, vanillic notes, and uh, balsams and resins creates. And we're basically having a kind of a boost of green touch, bringing out the green qualities of the patchouli and its kind of woody earthiness. But it's spicy, it's ozonic, it's herbal, it's tea, it's mate. For me, mate smells of grassy tea. 
And then of course there's the freshness of the bergamot in here as well. Definitely a great take on a patchouli. It's super, super sexy. I absolutely love it and definitely has to be on a 10 patchouli fragrances for life video. Let me know if you're a fan of this one. I highly recommend it if you love patchouli. But this next one is a compliment getter and also a super strong fragrance from the house of Maison Crivelli. It's patchouli magnetic. Here we've got a very interesting combination of notes. For me, there's a creamy lactonic quality about this fragrance that I think we're getting from the overdose of the gardenia. White floral notes like gardenia, maybe even magnolia creates kind of a milky lactonic quality. It just has that it, traditionally when you smell it in fragrances, but they have boosted it up with some other notes in here to give you a very milky, milky effect, lactonic effect against the patchouli. The patchouli is really super strong in this along with the gardenia. There's peaches, there's sandalwood, benzoin, vanilla, and leather. For me, it's really, really overwhelming when you first spray it, but the dry down garners compliments. It's like hours later, the fragrance lingers on and on and on. It's a room filler for sure. It's really, really intense, but a little goes a long way. And when it's dried down, as I said, uh, compliments will come in because it's the dry down that's going to get the reactions from people. And they're usually positive reactions, which I really enjoy about this fragrance. It's not a fragrance that is embraced by a lot of folks, but for me, I find it to be one of the best in the collection from Maison Crivelli in the Red Bottles collection. I think just super sexy and it's really, really potent stuff. So Maison Crivelli's Patchouli Magnetic has to be on a 10 Patchouli Fragrances for Life list. The next one is from the house of Chanel. It's Coromandel. Yeah, it's a really, really great fragrance. If I go for something like designer, I definitely will pull for this one. In the end, it's super sexy. It's a bit milky as well. They've thrown in benzoin in this. It's patchouli, frankincense, and benzoin are the notes. And of course, the benzoin against the patchouli creates a white chocolate effect, which, uh, you know, Fragrantica lists as a note in this. Perhaps it's got that kind of creaminess that the white chocolate features when you're eating it so it's kind of milky so that's the kind of effect it's giving you whereas some of the other patchouli fragrances gives you that chocolate cakey effect not white chocolate cake but here with the benzoin against the patchouli it's uh, kind of creamy and white chocolatey but it's definitely one of the best patchouli fragrances and it's a designer as well but I think Chanel has done a great job with Coromandel it's one of the best designer fragrances out there in the world I think and I absolutely really really love it it smells great great it's got great longevity it's got great lingering power and it smells super fantastic on skin it's Chanel's Coromandel let me know if you're a fan of that one I would love to know this next one's fairly new on the list going to the house of Al Jazeera a Middle Eastern house it's patchouli created by Olivier Cresp to me, this has become a winner fragrance from this house. Absolutely love it. It's my favorite fragrance from this house because it not only features patchouli, it's created by Olivier Cresp, and he's basically pulled a couple of different patchouli fragrance styles together and combined them to create a really, really amazing fragrance. First of all, it does have a bit of a reminder of vintage Chanel. Second, it also reminds me of the fragrance that got me into reviewing fragrances, L'Instant de Guerlain Pour Homme Eau Extreme. Those two together have left a major, major impression on me because Angel is really what really got me interested in fragrances in the early to mid 90s. Then L'Instant de Guerlain Pour Homme Eau Extreme is the fragrance that got me into reviewing fragrances because I loved the way it smelled. It had a great trail. So it's those two fragrances here in this fragrance. It is so good, guys. It doesn't have too much of a chocolate cakey effect. Maybe it has a little bit. It's sweetened up with honey and things like that, spices and sandalwood and musk and vanilla. It's really, really great. Really, really wonderful fragrance. This is Al Jazeera's Patchouli. Definitely a, a 10 Patchouli Fragrances for Life fragrance. And then finally, the last fragrance and the number one fragrance for me it's Javois Psychedelic. It's a really, really great fragrance. One of the best fragrances out there. Definitely deserves to be on a 10 Patchouli Fragrances for Life list. This is one of the best out there. And a lot of people consider Real Patchouli by uh, Boys1920, but I consider Javois Psychedelic to be the, one of the best patchoulis out there. Sure, it reminds me of Reminiscence, Reminiscence's Patchouli that's been around from the 70s, but 
I just love the way this one's done. It's patchouli with amber, vanilla labdanum, rose, musk, and geranium. And basically, you've got the patchouli, its earthy woodiness, that kind of sparkling quality, that great lingering power mixed in with the vanilla, the amber, the labdanum. This is what's creating this chocolate cakey effect in the fragrance. Again, not smelling like chocolate, not smelling like chocolate cake. It's the effect against the patchouli, which is super amazing, which I love. And then they've thrown in the musk the rose and the geranium they're not that super potent for me it does have some spicy aromatic touches definitely does get musky and the rose is a bit nondescript for me i get a little more geranium than the rose maybe it appears here and there a little bit uh, throughout the life of the fragrance but for me this is all about the patchouli and that kind of uh, ambery balsamic vanillic resinous notes together it's an amazing patchouli fragrance Definitely has to be on a Tem Patchouli Fragrances for Life list. It is one of the best. Psychedelic, and love the name as well. It's from the House of Javoy. Anyway, those are the 10 Patchouli Fragrances for Life fragrances. Let me know your thoughts on these fragrances. What do you think? It's really difficult to decide on 10 when you do these lists. And I thought Patchouli would be a great list or great uh, you know note to start with. Do let me know if you'd like to see any other notes. Uh, uh, in the future but for now 10 patchouli fragrances for life these are the ones i'm going to go with and i'm going to get rid of the rest not really but uh but this is what i would do if i was planning on doing that but either way guys let me know your thoughts on these fragrances if you're a lover of patchouli let me know your 10 patchouli fragrances for life add the list in the comment and so i can find out but either way thanks so much for watching today's video if you have any questions or comments please list below please like this video please share it follow me on instagram Instagram and Facebook and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Yes, I do have one bonus option for you guys. I do have to feature this here. It's Reminiscences Patchouli. Yeah, it's been around since the early 70s. In fact, I believe it came out in either 70 or 73. Yeah, these two also do remind me of one another, but I think there's this distinct smell in the Reminiscence. That's a kind of signature. Both of them do have a bit of a booziness about them. That's another thing that I forgot to mention about some of these patchouli fragrances. Uh, they do create this kind of uh, patchouli booze kind of an effect, if that uh, ever is existing. Just, just smell it and see if you can figure out a booziness from a patchouli fragrances. It does here. This is an eau de toilette, whereas the Javoy, Javoy is an eau de parfum. It's a great fragrance to spritz a lot of and as I said, patchouli has great lingering power, even though this fragrance will not feel heavy. Although some people might think patchouli is a heavy note. It's a dense note. It usually appears in the base note. It's what you would smell, you know, at the end of the life of a fragrance. But since this is overdosed in patchouli, you'll smell patchouli all throughout the life of the fragrance. And it's a great, great fragrance in eau de toilette. If you're a fan of patchouli, you've got to get your hands on a bottle of Reminiscences patchouli. I think it's definitely one of the best. It just did fit in the uh, 10 fragrances for life video or 10 patchouli fragrances for life list but either way definitely want to highlight reminiscences patchouli let me know your thoughts on it guys thanks so much for watching today's video see you with another video very soon bye bye